seven miles north of the city of Nottingham, stands the pumping station at Papplewick. Although in wooded country, its chimney is clearly visible, rising to 120 feet. Built in the 1880s, the pumping station is a fine example of Victorian public building, set among trees, ornamental flower beds, and water. Overlooking the lake is the three-story engine house, built of rose-red brick with sandstone dressings. It is decorated with carved brick piers and mouldings. West side is the single story boiler house and the old stables. Inside the boiler house are six Lancashire type boilers three for each engine. These are the original boilers built in 1884. Steam is supplied at 50 pounds per square inch to a pair of single cylinder drop valve condensing beam engines. The steam is controlled by drop valves in a chest at the outer side of each cylinder. The valves are operated by a camshaft at mid-cylinder level, driven by gearing and shafting from the main crankshaft. The point of steam cutoff is varied manually by a bridle motion, favored by J. Watt and Company at that time. The cylinder has a diameter of 46 inches and the piston a stroke of 70 feet 6 inches, developing a thrust of 35 tons. a moving beam through parallel motion at 11 strokes per minute. The beam weighs about 40 tons and is mounted in bearings some 20 feet above the engine house floor. Revolution counters are mounted upon the center gudgeons.
the beam drives a connecting rod attached to the crankshaft of the flywheel. Either side of the connecting rod are pump rods directly driving the bucket pump, which lifts water from a well 200 feet deep at the rate of one and a quarter million gallons a day. transfers the water into the public supply or to the reservoir. controlled by a system of bevels and shafts from the governor. The finish of the whole installation is of the highest standard, even for that period of achievement and pride. On the 25th of June 1969, the engines at Paddlewick were closed down and replaced by electric pumps. 